so I'm going to get this out of the way first. You're not going to take this strategy or any strategy for that matter, log into your trading platform and immediately make money with it. That's not how it works at all and I want to be honest with you by saying that you have to spend hours upon hours sitting at your computer, watching charts, placing dummy trades and practicing before you will develop the instinct which every successful trader develops by trading and practicing a lot, not by using YouTube strategies. That being said, some strategies are difficult and require more of that trading instinct, while some strategies are that simple and are well suited for beginners or people who just want to make one trade per day, making as much profit or if not more than people who trade all day long. The strategy I'll share with you today I use all the time and it works extremely well in that your risk to reward ratios can be set to extreme values. That just means that you can win once and then make a couple of mistakes without it eating into your overall profit. Today we will be talking about momentum reversals which happen a lot on stocks and crypto, not so much on forex, but you can still apply these principles to any market. First notice how after every huge pump, which consists of long momentum candles, price comes back as hard as it came up, sort of like a rubber band. Using key levels and price action, we can accurately predict when the price will come down or go up and place a trade so we can capture the opposite momentum of the rubber band effect. Take a look at this trade I made yesterday. This is Ethereum on 5 minute time frame. The price moved to the upside massively by breaking through this strong support which is marked in blue with two momentum candles forming that were way bigger than the average candle size from recent past. After this huge move the price action formed a triple top you can see right here. Top number 1, top number 2, top number 3. And you could attribute this price formation to a strong trade line right over here, which I drew on a bigger time frame, like 4 hour time frame. And not only it made a triple top, it also started to form this upwards moving wedge, which is a bullish pattern. So after drawing this lower trend line, which formed the wedge, it was just a matter of time when the price action would break through it with a momentum candle and continue on downward. And just after this 5 minute candle closed right over here, I entered the trade short immediately. My stop loss was sent at 0.38% which is barely inside the wedge and my take profit was set to 0.87%. In retrospect I should have let the trade run for a lot longer but that is topic for another video. And as you can see the price indeed moved downwards massively while still respecting the strong support marked in blue, which you can see by these long wicks, which usually represents that the price is reacting to a key level, as well as a small pullback right over here. But after that, it continued on downwards while it breached another strong trend line, and then it has been bouncing on the trend line ever since. So let's look at some other examples and how you can find some opportunities and place trades yourself. Here you will see a similar scenario just on a much smaller scale since the volume for that period of the day was much lower. But you can still see a huge breakout formed by momentum candles that were bigger than the average candle which was followed by this turbulence right over here. And after the price breaks through this price action box it moves down quite a bit much lower than when the initial move up started right over here. So when I have boxes like this form after large pumps or dumps, I like to take trades quite differently. I like to enter limit order positions right where the price rejects the top level right over here and that is exactly when I would enter a short position, setting my stop loss to a very conservative 0.33% and my take profit would either be at the lower level of the box or way lower depending on the momentum that happens real time. And yes, I am that kind of trader who adjusts their take profit levels just as price action is forming. So for example here, let's imagine this red line would be my take profit. If I'm suddenly seeing huge bearish momentum and my stop loss is right over here, I will move it way lower because that indicates to me that the price is likely to break through this box and it can go down way lower. 
let's look at some more examples but in the opposite direction but keep in mind that people are much more likely to sell after a pump than they are to buy after a dump which you can see right here there was a huge dump on ethereum with many red momentum candles you can see right here right here and even right here the start of the move which of course was followed by a rejection from a major trend line which is right over here in red so how could you have played this trade so first what happens the price dumps to this level right here so this turbulence area right here was not a key level on my chart i haven't drawn any trend lines which the price could respect so at this point i would not have placed any trade what happened afterwards was price dumped even more and now we're getting close to major for our trend line which is right here in red and as you can see the price is bouncing right here and causing some turbulence and we can even see a small double bottom right over here so after price reacting to this major trend line and it previously being dumped by so much i would open a long trade right over here and setting stop loss just below the trend line at 0.83 percent and my target profit to like 2.5 percent and what's important to keep in mind here is that i'm not just blindly buying after price pumps or dumps i'm combining huge pumps or dumps with major bigger time frame uh, trend lines or supports and resistances bonus points if you can combine in even more zones of confluence for example emas or MACDs or RSIs. Let's look at some more examples. So right here we can see that price pumped massively with a huge green momentum candle and it continued on an upwards trend for some time. But since there weren't any zones of confluence in this region or major key levels, I didn't place a trade. Instead I waited to see what the price action would do next. And of course oddly enough, the price action did hit this major key level right here after which it dumped quite massively as you can see right here so how could have we taken advantage of this scenario right here after this huge rejection which happened with quite full bearish candle right here we could have entered a pretty safe short position setting our stop loss just above the major key level and our take profit as i mentioned before i like to adjust it on the fly but you could easily use 1 to 5 risk reward ratio for this strategy and as you can see this would have been a successful trade and very profitable at that as well and you will see that price respects this key level most of the time occasionally breaking through it and that is where you would have a failed trade if you were to follow this strategy and keep in mind that no strategy is 100 success rate this is why i like this strategy so much because it leaves you room to make mistakes since your risk reward ratios can be so insanely high so to recap we wait for huge momentum candles to form on the chart preferably close to a key level like it happened right here with respect to the major trend line then we wait for a zone of turbulence just like this wedge right here after both of these criteria has been hit we can start to think about how we want to enter the trade if it's a wedge I would wait for a breakout like I did right over here. If it's just rectangular zone, I would enter the trade something like this. Entering at top of the range and setting my take profit first at the bottom of the range. And then if there's enough momentum, even lower. So now let's actually see how many trades we would have won if we used this strategy in the last couple of days on Ethereum. I will include this trade as a win because this is an actual trade that I took so that's one win here's quite significant dump and there was a zone of turbulence right here which we can draw inside our rectangle something like this realistically i would have entered the trade right over here with a long pos with a long position setting my stop loss to 0.37 and my take profit to let's say 1.5 percent that's risk reward ratio of four this trade would have been a winning trade but it did come close to being stopped out by this week right over here let's move on there was another quite significant dump in price but since it was in middle of the range this is not a trade i would take so let's move on here we can see a triple top to quite significant key level but since there were no huge momentum candles 
this is not a trade I would take as well. Let's move on. Right over here, we can see some significant price action to the upside. First, we had huge momentum candle right over here, which is quite significant. And then some more momentum candles here and here till it reached two important key levels. First being the immediate trend line on lower time frame and the key level from four hour time frame. This is a trade I would take with a short position. So first let's draw a range. And me personally, I would start looking for entries when the price has made like three waves just like this. Then I would start thinking about entering the trade with a limit order from the top level of the box. So let's do that. If we set the limit order to the upper range, we, have, we would have had two opportunities for our limit order to actually execute and for us enter the trade. Stop loss would be 0.37% and as you can see the upside for this trade is quite significant as well. Let's move on to some more examples. We already covered this example right here. So let's call that the win as well. Another trade we already covered would be a win as well right here. But I can spot a losing trade opportunity that I would have taken right over here. There's two huge momentum candles here which kind of looks like they're respecting this trend line right over here. And sometimes you're just not sure if the trend line is drawn correctly. Maybe it's just slightly off, so you never know. But this price action, this turbulence right here kind of confirmed to me that there was a key level being met right here. So what I would have done here, I would actually would have entered a short position, just like I previously showed you. And obviously I would have been stopped out with this trade. So this is a losing trade number two. So here we have another dump in price right over here where it touches this trend line, which is quite significant key level as we have already established. So here it's quite tricky since the trade is not really touching the lower part of the box so much. And that would make me worry it would be 50-50 for me here if I would take this trade or not. But most likely I would enter this trade with lower position than usual. So since we have some sort of wedge here, instead of, instead of a rectangle, I would actually look for a breakout of that wedge to enter a long position. So let's do that. Let's enter long position just as it break through here. Stop loss is 0.37, which is here. Another trade where it would be quite close to actually being stopped out. But as you can see, it could have easily been a winning trade as well. Maybe not so much potential, but still winning trade nonetheless. As you saw right here, most of the dummy trades we took would have actually been wins instead of losses. And with the insane risk to reward that you can set with this strategy, it's easy to say you would have been profitable by using this strategy at this precise range. Another disclaimer I have to put out there, different ranges will net you different results. No trading strategy is foolproof. You have to you have to use your own intuition to make trades and to be profitable in the end. And the only way you can develop your trading intuition is by trading a lot. So stop watching strategy videos, get on the trading view, start placing dummy trades and practice. And by the way, if you want to receive up to $4,000 sign up bonus, you can easily sign up to Best Exchange for Day Trading, which is Bybit.com, and get a nice sign up bonus. Additionally, if you don't actually have any money to actually start trading, I highly suggest checking out the first link in my description, which in detail shows you how you can grow a profitable Twitter business and make up to $1,000 per day. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you in the next one. Bye.